approximately one in every three bites of food that we take. They've been impacted by the work of honeybees, but there is a buzz going on in the colonies. I'm ABC 15's Justin Hobbs, and today we're in Peoria speaking to a local bee farmer who's advocating for their future because they're facing huge losses in their colonies. Basically, we'll change our entire world if we lose them, um, not just our food system, but oftentimes one loss impacts others. Bees are more than just busy. They're essential in our daily lives. That's why master beekeeper Connie Moore of Honey Hive Farms in Peoria wants to educate the public on why their population is so important. I want them to not be afraid of bees. Um, I want them to realize the value, um, how gentle they can be and, and what they do for us. I mean, it's scary, but like you have all this protection, you know, I feel really safe with the person who's working with them and they're just so like unknown about the world, you know, and they do so much to the world and it just Though Moore is worried about colony collapse, which is described as the drastic and sudden decline in worker bee populations, the Census of Agriculture claims there was a 31% increase in population from 2002 to 2022. This was largely due to farming incentives in northern Texas, but colony collapse disorder is still being felt, including this year. Colony collapse disorder didn't hit us um, here, but um, it is back. Uh, researchers never really fully pinpointed exactly what caused that. While the solution is still hidden in the hives, Moore says we can still help by providing bee-friendly gardens and water resources. If you see bees that are out and about, just let them do their thing, right? Um, they're not all trying to sting you and, and hurt you all the time. By and large, most people see bees and they're just out gathering food. At Honey Hive Farms in Peoria, Justin Hobbs, ABC 15 Arizona.